Okay, good uh, evening. Welcome to. So, that's number 294. Uh, 294. So, I saw this uh, recommendation, this book recommended on Twitter by um, Kate Nowak um, last week. So, I just ordered it and said it would be fun to give it a try, and it just came today. So, I thought just, just to check it out, we would do um, one of the exercises. And literally, I just flipped through the book. I saw this one. It looks actually kind of interesting. Three point exercise uh, 3.1. Uh, investigating the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. Hmm. Okay? Yep. So, it says, um, draw a large acute scalene triangle on your patty paper. So I've given you a straight edge because I couldn't find a ruler. Mm -hmm. Here's your patty paper. So what is a, an acute scalene triangle? So that mean? means none of the angles are above 90. Okay. Anything else? And it also means all the sides are different. Okay. Okay, and could you um, could you kind of fill in the um, the dots on the on the corners? Just not not huge, but just so we can see them on the camera. In fact, looking at the camera, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, good. So now it says uh, fold to construct the perpendicular bisectors of each side of your triangle. So the interesting thing about this patty paper geometry, um, and I'm speaking as somebody who's had this book for ten minutes. <laughs> is you're, you're using this paper to do geometry rather than do calculations. So how do you think you can fold the paper to construct one of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of that triangle? Well, you need to fold the paper, I can see why it's transparent now, so that this dot corresponds to the other dot. Okay. Like that. All right, and that's, um, let's, I don't know, let's make a really good crease with the, oops, sorry about hitting the camera, the pencil, just in case we need to have a really good crease. Is that good? Mm -hmm. We get that right? Does that look like we've made the perpendicular bisector? Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Fold uh, to construct the perpendicular bisector of each side. Alright, so here's the other side. Okay. And then, so I did that side, that side. So this one. Okay. Good. You can see them. All right. Any uh, anything interesting happen there? Well, they all of course they all they're all meeting at a point. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Are you surprised by that? Well, I already knew that perpendicular bisectors met at this point. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Do you remember what the name of that point is? It's the circumcenter. Okay. And so what does that mean that's special about that point? It's the center of the circle that can be circumscribed around this triangle. Okay. That's, but that's, so what does that mean that's special about that point? Well, that's the only that's the only point where all three perpendicular bisectors intersect. Yeah, that we, that's what we've seen. But that point has because it's the center of the circumcircle, it has a special property. It's the same distance away from this vertex, this vertex, and this vertex. Okay, and they say use another sheet of of patty paper to measure that distance. I'll just pick this one, and so let's measure that distance from that corner up to there. Just put a little tick mark there. Let's see if that's true. Alright, so we can move it to here. Looks about right. Alright. And I need to put this one. Oh, sorry. Um, no. This is hard to manipulate. I think I might have to flip it over. Oh, okay. So yep. the corners there and the Looks about right. Okay, cool. So that's actually, um, rather than kind of lecturing about it or talking about it on the board, just by folding it up, uh, you're able to see it. So that's actually a pretty neat way to take a look at geometry. Yeah. Um, hmm. That's cool. We'll have, to, we'll have to do a few more exercises like this. Okay, cool. Thanks.